How you doing this morning? I should say this afternoon. Yeah. That's my good girl. There's the Coast Guard station. And you see the, the land is real muddy over there. So if you got an anchor in the mud, there, there was a, a boat that was on shore over here. They just got that. And there's another one. Should be right about there. There's two of them in that shot. And all of those are on the shore because they chose to anchor in the mud near shore. So we had all these beautiful ships. Wow, and this is the same zoom, all these beautiful ships all out in here, all spread out, nicely distanced, anchored safely, plenty of line out. And the police officer basically wants you either to not be on the ship at all, so it's just anchored, or to move over to this side, the St. Pete side. Mind you, I'm not changing the zoom. Look how close these, these boats are. Mind you, I've been here the whole time, and I've watched almost every one of these boats, except for that one go from Gulfport, or they're all nice and spread out, to over here in St. Pete, where they're all packed in tight. He wants me to go join everybody over there. He thinks we need more boats in that little bitty strip between the red marker and that shore. He wants everybody down that strip and nobody and all the boats gone from the green project or I'd have been there first but so I ended up here so now that I'm here I hate being told I have to leave by a government that's overstepping its bounds it just it's wrong so I guess I have a, a patreon page somewhere I have not updated it I don't even know what it says on there anymore but if somebody feels like checking out the Patreon page, throwing a dollar at it, we'll see if it still works. And if it does, I might start uh, uh, using that to get what we need for the ship and then the fleet. And it looks like we're going to be having a legal fight here and, and uh, doing what's 
necessary. Because if it was just me, like I said, it's one thing, but it's not me. It's it's all the ships. It's all of us. And they're taking us from being safe to not being safe. Look how much those sailboats are tipping. They're so nice and safe in that shallow water, away from the away from the channel. Where they can be moored out on long lines. You're doing so much better. Some of those things, I mean, like look how much this one here rocks back and forth. It doesn't do that when it's over there in the other. So I don't know why this started. I don't know what's going on that they, they, they're not wanting sailboats in Gulfport, but they certainly have a preference for the power motors. Um, and I don't think that's fair. Whatever the reason may be, they, we shouldn't be treated as second class citizens. Uh, I wasn't even living on the ship until the pandemic started. So now that I'm living on the ship because of the pandemic, Ross has included me in the group that's got to go. So, um, yeah, that's, that's where we're at. And technically, none of these boats are live aboard. So the reason I say that is every single one of those boats that you, you're, you're seeing in the video, every single one of these boats got here of their own accord. None of these boats were towed over, and nav navigable uh, ship is, is what's necessary to not be considered uh, uh, live aboard. You have to have a rudder that works, and either an engine or sails, and uh, it's strange the law doesn't require the most important thing of all. Look how close those boats are. The, uh, a captain. So I, I think if you're going to do anything on the water, you need a captain. And they're not having a problem with, and they're not telling the uh, boaters to leave who don't have sails. It's specifically something against sailboats.